Hello, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing standing Pilates for foot and knee stability. You don't need anything at all. So go ahead, get yourselves ready and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so let us begin. So today is all about the feet. So with our balance and with injuries, many of those things are reliant on having really good awareness of your feet. Uh, we call this a sense of proprioception, yes, where you are in space. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. Some awareness of the feet, some work with the knees, the feet, the ankles, and the legs, okay? So let's start with those feet hip width apart and I want you to look down at your feet, all right? And just looking at the alignment for a moment, okay? So we've all got different feet, we've all got different things going on in our feet. Many of you who've been with me for a long time know that I have had problems with my feet and I've had foot surgery as well. So I've got lots going on in my feet and I try and do a lot of work to uh, maintain them but keeping balance going as well. So first thing I want you to do is to look down and just to look at where your feet are. We're going to try and correct our alignment. So we're going to bring our feet to the point where the second toe is in line here with the center of the ankle and then looking up towards your knees, seeing where your knees are in relation. Okay, so lots of the exercises we do, we need to get that alignment right so we don't get injured and we need to get that alignment right so we also build our strength so we don't fall. All right, so we're getting that alignment now. And I want you to just stay there and try and lift all your toes up off the floor, all those toes up, okay? And then take them back down. Let's do that again. Let's lift them up as far back as you can and take them back down. And again, lift them up and take them down. You might feel something going on in your hips here. I already do, lifting up and taking them down. Now this time we're gonna lift them up. We're gonna spread the toes as far as we can. You can spread your hands as well like this if you want. It does help, really strange, but it does. And now try and lay those toes back down. So let's try that again, let's lift up spread the fingers, spread the toes as much as you're able and lay them back down. One more time, lifting up, spread them out as much as you can and lay them back down. Now I really feel that in your hips, you may do as well. It's just starting to work through the legs. Now we're gonna take the weight forward. So the weight is going into the toes, feel those toes pressing into the ground. Now bring the weight back and take it back into the heels. Don't fall over. All right, so you can just feel the weight back in the heels. Now bring your weight back to the central point. Let's take it forward into the toes. Can you feel that? And then come center, weight in the center, back in the heels. That's it, good. And center. All right, now try and get that weight in the middle. And I want you to bend your right leg. Keep the toes down. And I want you to try and circle the ankle out. So we're going out. We're kind of trying to minimize the movement of the leg. Really feel it down in the ankle. Really feel those toes in the floor. That's it. Now let's go back the other way. So coming in, two. So this is stretching out all underneath the feet mobilizing the feet. That's it. Well done. And bring that foot down. Let's go on to the other leg. Same thing. So pressing those toes down and circling out. Two, three, four, five. Coming in. Two, three, four, Five, well done. And now we're just gonna lift up. So pressing into the metatarsals. So you're trying to lift your arch. Think of lifting and down, but we're keeping all the toes on the floor. So just if you need to, you can look down. 
and just check what's going on in those feet. What we want to make sure is we don't roll out as we do this. Okay, so the weight is going evenly over all the toes. That's it. Give me two more. Two, one, and down. So hopefully now you're just feeling a bit more aware of your feet. Okay, and then we're going to do a nice little exercise now. We're going to take our arms forward. We're going to bend our knees. We're going to do a little lift of the heels. So they're just coming off the floor. Now you're going to keep them off the floor, straighten the legs and try and really lift up, feel the weight onto all those toes and lower down. You can do this with a chair in front of you if you need to, yeah? So we're going to bend. We're going to lift those heels. Really trying to keep all those toes pressing into the floor. Now straighten your legs with your heels up. Lift up as high as you can go and lower down. And again, let's bend the knees. Raise the heels, pressing into the toes. You can see this is a challenge for me as well. Lifting up, lift up, pull up through the inside of the legs if you need to. So you can feel the weight on the toes and down. One more time, bend. Raise those heels. Trying to line those feet, try and feel the feet grounding into the floor. And then lifting up and lowering down. Okay, so we're really getting a sense of what's going on in those toes. We're gonna to try and reverse it now, okay? So you're gonna lift up onto the toes. Okay, and this is what I found really difficult. We're gonna press the weight into the big toes. Okay, now keep those toes pressing into the floor, tummy pulling in, and bend your knees, but keep your heels lifted. Try not let to let the feet roll out or in. Lower the heels and straighten the legs. Let's try that again. So we're lifting up, really trying to feel those feet in the floor. Try and make that connection between the brain and the feet. All right. Now bend the knees. Good. And lower the heels down and straighten the legs. Again, lifting up. So keep your tummy pulling in. That core work is going to help you here as well. Press the weight into the toes. Feel all those toes. If those ankles are rolling, correct them. Bend the knees, that's it, lower the heels and down. One more, lifting up. Feel those feet pressing into the floor. If you feel them roll, just like I am, I'm trying to correct as I'm talking to you. Bend the knees. Good, heels down and come on up. Good, okay, just give those feet a little check, a little flick out. Okay, and one of the things that's really important uh, if you're getting older is your balance, of course. All right, and your reaction time. So we're just going to do a little exercise. I'm just starting to do it now, so you can join in with me when you're ready. Uh, just moving from one foot to the other and flicking the leg out. It's a little bit dancey. All right, and it's just to get you moving and to get that sense of the feet. You should be really feeling your feet now after the exercises we've done. And we're just gonna go from one leg to the other. If you want, you can speed it up. All right, so doing little movements through the feet. Now I want you to think of a horse, you know, like a dressage, trying to really use those feet coming up. That's it. Good, and eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and down. Okay, so I'm gonna go sideways so you can see what we're gonna do. A little bit more on the balance now. We're gonna do a step forward and we're gonna get a nice wide position between those legs. Okay, and again, you can have a chair in front of you if you need this for balance. I'm gonna suggest you either have your arms out you want to work a little harder, you can take the hands behind the head or you can have them across like this. All right, what we're going to do, I'm going to take my hands behind my head because I like to open up those shoulders. I'm going to keep the legs straight, but we're going to press off the left foot 
and try and lift the heel and come forward. Now you should be feeling this, not just in the back of the leg, but also in this glute. So I want you to really squeeze your bottom. All right, and at the same time, pull the abdominals in and then lower the foot down. We're gonna push off that foot. So you're lifting the heel and lower down. Now think about what we've already done with those toes. As you lift, you want to feel all those toes staying connected to the floor and back. And one more, lift and back. Now we're going to lift and we're gonna try and bend both knees. Keeping our balance, keeping that back nice and upright. Straighten and lower down. So lift, bend the knees. Now we do think about those knees as well. We want knees over toes. So just check that that is what is happening. Your knees not going in or out. Lift up and back. Two more. Lift the heel, bend the knee. Nice and upright, straight in the leg. And back, and lift, bend the knee. Straight in the leg, and back. All right, should we change legs? So onto the other leg, all right. And again, just check where your feet are, check that alignment. Try and be aware of those feet. Take up whatever position you want with those arms. Okay, now press off that back foot, right foot. Pushing up and then lowering back down. So this for me is very challenging. And push up. This really is working on your balance but also strengthening the feet. Again, pushing up. Try and feel those toes connecting to the floor and down and pushing up and back down. Keep those elbows open if your arms are up like me. So we're working the chest as well or stretching that chest. Now let's lift that back heel up. Now we're going to bend both knees. Good. Straighten and lower back down. We're going to lift that heel up, bend both knees, straighten and back down. We're going to lift up, bend those knees, straighten and back down. One more lift and bend and up and back down, well done. Okay, so shake the legs out and we're gonna finish because it's a nice short workout with another balance challenge, starting with the right leg. Continue on the same theme. We're gonna reach the leg out, land, bend and come back, okay? So it's a step and lunge and back. And we're trying to keep that alignment with the foot and the knee and back. So you can do this with a chair beside you if you need to. All right. You're just going to go as low as you're comfortable going, but you're going to try and land and balance. Good. Down and back. Two. One. Change legs. Left leg forward and down. It'll always feel different as you change sides. Yeah. Bend and down, bend and down, four, three, two, one, and back. Good, shake those legs out and let's leave it there for today. So thank you very much. That was just a nice short 10 minute session to make you aware of your feet, aware of your alignment through the foot, through the knee. I hope that helped you. Please do press the like button and do subscribe. We love you to have you join in with our community and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care and bye for now.